Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, I'm uh, listen, 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 listen. Got a nice little quarterback coach that everybody talking about. Uh, I got some notes on ball. Brian Johnson, Florida Gators OC. But hold on before we get into the meat and the potatoes, man. Make sure y'all hop on with the loop mogul. Do your thing you got to do there. Make sure you go ahead with the flick chat. Do your thing you got to do there. Make sure you check out the merch shop. Cop you something up. Listen, man, I promise y'all something's supposed to be coming this month with the merchandise. It might be a little delay on this new stuff I got going on, but it is coming. Make sure you just check out all the links in the description, man. Or, you know what I mean? You know, go pick a link. You, you, listen, man, Brian Johnson, Florida Gators offensive coordinator, hired as the Philadelphia Eagles quarterback coach. I look dude up. I look dude up. A lot of things seem to connect with this move. Um, getting the offensive coordinator from college to be a quarterback coach in the NFL, I like the idea of that. First and foremost, I just like how that just makes sense because you got guys, offensive coordinators at the collegiate level who was helping bring some of these stars up to snuff. You know what I'm saying? Offensive coordinators helping to bring some of these offenses to life and getting dudes named off of these offenses and giving them a chance to play in the NFL and live their dream. So offensive, offensive coordinators at the collegiate level definitely are important, if you ask me. To bring one in as a quarterback coach is huge. It's huge. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really that up to snuff on a lot of the quarterbacks. I should That's something I should have looked up for this video. I'm not really, you know, off the top of my head too sure about some of the quarterbacks that, you know, Brian Johnson worked with. But you know what I mean? Listen, man, I, I like this move. Something feel warm and cozy about this move. It's just something feel warm and cozy about it. But this seems like a Jalen Hurts move. Seems like a Jalen Hurts move, man. I'm, I'm just call a spade a spade. Seems like a Jalen Hurts move. This is a Jalen Hurts guy, which further makes me believe that there will be an open quarterback competition. However, Wentz decide to handle that going to tell us all we need to know. In my opinion, Wentz should go out there and win that job. Hands down, Wentz should go out there and win that job. I believe Wentz is the more talented quarterback. I believe Wentz is the better quarterback. If he get beat out of this job, he done. He done. He can't be an eagle no more. And it's not a slight to Jalen. It's a slight to how much we invested in him. Get him out of here. If he, if, he, if he outright lose this job, I don't think nobody taking a chance on him. But this is a guy and Brian Johnson who knew Jalen Hurts since the age of four. It's a Jalen Hurts guy. It made sense to help him bring the quarterback up. He's a quarterback coach about the quarter about the coach a kid he knew since four years old. You don't think he want Hurts to win? You don't think he want Hurts to be the, the 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 starting quarterback? It ain't looking. This ain't a this ain't a this ain't a pro Wentz move. I tell you that. Since he, since four, he knew this guy, man. He he even recruited him out of high school. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he recruited him out of high school. Let's look at let's look at some of the numbers that a Brian Johnson offense did in Florida. Let's look at some of the numbers. Points per game, um, 39 points per game. That was 13th in the nation. Yards per game, 509 yards per game. That was number nine in the nation. Third, third down is what I looked at the most because that lets me know. That lets me know about your play calling, and it lets me know about you know. It, it lets me know a lot. Your play calling and the teachers that you've been teaching your offense are really on display in third down. Uh, third down, he was 50 percent, fifth in the nation. That's a good number. Those third downs tell you a lot. 50 percent at number five in the nation. That's good, man. That's good. That's good. And you can never argue with that, man. Red zone 90%. That's 16th in the nation. He was dialing up the plays when he needed to be dialed up. I can't argue against a guy like this. And this is important. His quarterback's completion percentage, 67%. That's number eight in the nation. Number eight in the nation. That means a lot. That means that the quarterback's fundamentals and mechanics are on point. The quarterbacks are being taught right from wrong. Something that we could something that both of our quarterbacks can learn from. A guy who can get guys completing passes at a, at a high rate like that. I like it. I like the pick. I like the pick. You know what I mean? The the, the listen, the pick, in my opinion. It kind of lets me know how this team is going in terms of drafting. Because, listen, we got the sixth pick. There's no way that this offensive coordinator, Brian Johnson, from Florida, and you got Kyle Pitts, who's moving up the draft board at an alarming rate. They got him like the, the third consensus third best player in the draft I've seen. That's a tight end. 
a freak of nature, a mismatched nightmare. You think we're not looking at that? You think we're not looking at Kyle Pitts? This is a real, this is a realistic thing, Eagles Nation. It's a realistic, it's a realistic thing. We could draft a tight end with the number one overall pick. Sirianni, every listen, I know y'all know better than nobody. Y'all been sending me the videos. Sirianni breaking down, you know, 12 personnel, the dual tight end packages. Sirianni in love with it. Sirianni talking about how great he feels about the tight ends on his roster. Y'all saw the video while he was OC at the Colts. You saw it. Zach Ertz is realistically probably gone. Probably gone. He don't want to take no restructure. He want to raise. Probably gone. Kyle Pitts will be under a rookie deal. It's a freak of nature at the position, man. And then with all the Colts guys that we got, you know, I'm starting to feel good about these coaches because I know these coaches are going to bring in some of these Colts free agents. One that I've been looking at is Malik Hooker at safety. It's, real, it's realistic. Him being a free agent, he'll come over here. He'll come over here. If they don't sign him, our coach got the influence. Xavier Rhodes, cornerback. Our coach got the influence. T.Y. Hilton, wide receiver. These free agents. Our coach got the influence. Trey Burton, the thrower of the Philly special himself. Our coach got the influence. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's shaping out to make a little more sense to me, to be honest. The only thing out of the equation that still don't make no sense to me is, you know, I know the Super Bowl didn't even pass yet, is what are we going to do at quarterback and Howie Roseman still being here? I know Howie Roseman still being here is sort of rhetorical because we all know why he's still here. He's here because, you know, the cap situation me and my guy Gate City talked about yesterday. And that's that on that. But at the end of the day, you have to understand that this team is changing. It's changing. And I think this team is changing and you're not going to be ready for the change. You're not going to be ready for the change. Adding more run plays serves a better purpose for both of our quarterbacks. Tight ends that block. I'm talking about Kyle Pitts here. Kyle Pitts remind me, he remind me of my, he remind me a homeboy in San Fran. I don't know how Kittle. He remind me of Kittle. That's just real. He's physical, fast. He reminds me of Kittle, man. You know what I mean? I don't think you could pass that up. If both wide receivers gone and that tight end still there, you got something to think about, Philly. You got something to think about because a tight end that good is as just as good as any wide receiver. What's going on, Boo Boo? I'm scared. You scared of what? Because it's dark in my room. It's dark in your room. The lamp is on. Well, it's dark now. Where you get gum from? It's not gum on it was my Skittles. Oh, Skittles? I'm getting them Skittles on my carpet. You're going to have to blot that. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. <laughs>